Murphy Young on the left side wing, drives in, kicks out, 15-footer for Graves is good. Alex Graves with all six of Lynchburg's opening points here. Austin Arnold will try and answer with the three of the zone. He does. Austin Arnold with three big points. Will come back the other way, lackadaisically, but finds his way inside the left block. Stolen by Arnold. Somehow Austin Arnold got it. Then he threw it right back to Hatfield. Off Hatfield's foot. No whistle. Burnett scoops it up. Burnett will bring it back for Lynchburg. Will they slow it down? Will they try and take advantage in transition? They do, and Allen's fouled. Count it on the opportunity. able to get it back to White. Here's Burnett in transition. Pull up three from the right wing. Got it! Cardiac Zach with the three. One too many passes. White saves it on the near sideline to Burnett. Burnett drives inside. Burnett's got plenty of room and somehow got that to go in. I don't know how he's able to contort his body and get that ball to fall, but who cares? Burnett pushing down the near sideline. Burnett behind the back, gets around Murray. Burnett finishing right back at you, Mike Murray. And a timeout called by Coach Scott. That's how you answer it. That's the Hornet way. The Hive has spoken. And Lynchburg defeats the Tigers 79-72, to a big win for the Hornets on the road. It's just any time you can come on the road in this league and get a win uh, against a quality team like this and just keep this momentum rolling, that's what we're looking to do, and this definitely helps.